It's high season on Lanzarote, and for the reps, it's high noon. Wendy Jones isn't here for fun. She's come to see what her staff are up to. Wendy's arriving. And Wendy's like the big boss. Wendy is chief. So obviously it's like, you know, makes your heart go a little bit faster. <laughs> I just hope they're looking forward to seeing me. I hope everything's in order. And I hope nobody comes to tell me off while she's here. I hope nobody comes and sets upon me to get gain or campaign. <laughs> Hello, my dear. How are you? The head rep on Lanzarote, Paul Hutley, is all smiles. Yeah, it looks, it looks, yeah. looks modern. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> you got, I've got the car just out here, yeah. Right, OK. In Menorca, Eve Ladyman could also be facing a showdown. Her mother's flying in. How are you then? It's great to see Eve, but the person Mum really wants to meet is this Spanish waiter who's captured her daughter's heart. Once a week, the Menorcan reps enjoy a day off. For Caroline Dunsmuir, it's a chance to keep someone else hanging around. It's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's fellow rep Sean MacArthur. We really scare him. <laughs> Maybe when he comes back in we can get him a little bit wet. Yeah, yeah! Just, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit wet, not yeah. a lot of wet. Well, maybe a lot wet. With the boss on the prowl, the last thing Helen Waldridge needs is chaos on the coaches. Everything was a bit late. The coach didn't turn up without a Unijit sign in the front, so I'm a bit wrong. But I phoned Paul and it arrived about 10 minutes late, so. I'd like to hear her talking more. Um, some people have been on this bus for about half an hour now and she hasn't actually spoken to them. But I need to check with her. Now the microphone's not working, so I'm going to have to compromise. It's just taken five minutes to come from the last post to here. And during that time, she could have been chatting. It sounds like she's just about to do something now. Um, in case you haven't met me before, my name's Helen. I'm taking you to the airport now. That was actually our last pickup. The flight here today is the A double M nine six three back to Belfast. August in the Med and school's out. <laughs> For Caroline, in a family resort, it's a hectic few weeks. A rep in uniform is always fair game. Oh no, it's the kids from hell. Oh, yeah. I hope you're not going to chuck it at me. Not today, no, no, no. not today. So what have you been doing with all this then? Like this. That's not very nice. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, you're right. Have you been a good girl on holiday? Have you been on a different holiday to us then? It looks like butter wouldn't melt in a mouth. I'm sure they're just saying that, aren't they? Yeah. 
Caroline is over halfway through her first season and getting better all the time. I've got so much more confidence. I'm, I mean, I'm so much louder. But it's because I'm quite comfortable with the people I work with now. I know my job um, better and I'm more settled in. You know, I'm living with Debbie and that really helps because Debbie is a confident person. Debbie Gander needs to be confident. She works in some of Menorca's classiest hotels. You're nobody till somebody loves. Hi, Mr. Foster. It's Debbie from Unijet. I just wondered if you wanted to come down for the little meeting, or are you OK? Yeah, have you been before? OK. Brilliant, that's fine then. OK, thank you. Bye-bye. He just said to me, no, I'm very well travelled. <laughs> Like, there was nothing I could possibly tell him that would interest him in the slightest. <laughs> That's that, really. Debbie has a problem most reps would envy. Her clients are fine on their own, thank you very much. These aren't my guests, they're all Spanish. <laughs> oh, Jen. Definitely not mine. You're nobody till somebody loves. Most of her clients have been coming here for years. Trying to sell them an island tour or a booze cruise is an uphill struggle. I had one welcome meeting. There was one couple who'd been for 22 years in a row and the other couple had been for 30 years in a row. So every time I mentioned something, it was like, well, when we came in 1974, it wasn't like, well, well it is now. <laughs> Shut up, please. <laughs> I've lost track now. Here you are, Chris. Eve's clients haven't been coming here quite so long, but there are plenty of them. In fact, her mum couldn't have picked a worse time to meet boyfriend Andreas. Um, I think I'm quite looking forward to it now. I know she's been with him quite a long time. I mean, it's quite a few months now that she's been with him, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to meeting him. Don't know what he'll think to us, though. I don't know, you're going to be ooh, nervous. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see her. Yeah, I want to, to meet. Thirty thousand holidaymakers are descending upon Lanzarote every week now. The boss, Wendy Jones, is in there somewhere, and so too are the thieves and pickpockets. Gaynor Fox has spent the afternoon in the local nick, trying to help the victims. Is it today? No, I got it on Sunday. He got it on this morning. I got mine done last night. I got mine done in the market. Do another one? Yeah, I get done in the market. He got done in the market. I done mine when I was sleeping in bed. Can you see me? I was asleep, I was upstairs. He was in the, he was in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's not, I'm a bit peed off, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare in there. I've got people in, in there, not my guests, I don't know who they are. Uh, they've been in there since 11 o'clock. And they've been in there since 11. <clears throat> so, don't know when my guests are going to get in to, to see the interpreter. Don't know. They're very fast workers, are they? No, manana, manana. <laughs> In everything. In everything. As well as watching her reps in action, Wendy Jones has to start thinking about where she'll place them next season. Hello. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> Long time, no? Oh, I know, look at the colour of you. So I've got a copy here of the Winter Sun brochure, and then I've got Summer Sun. The winter is one thing, but after three years repping, Gaynor is thinking of promotion. Is there anything specifically or anything that you want to do or... 
in terms of, let's talk about the development of your career. Obviously for me, I'd like to move up a bit, a bit mm -hmm. more responsibility. Yes. Uh, either within, within the resort, sort of something a bit more to get my teeth into, to oh. get hold of. OK. I guess I need to have a think about whether I decide to develop you or not. Um, and perhaps you need to say, if you like... I'm Wendy wasn't expecting that, this. She's almost lost for words. Um, you need to... Uh, perhaps you need to make a choice. I'm just trying to think the easiest way to put it. I think Gaynor has potential. She wants to, uh, to go forward. I'm not sure whether she has the motivation yet. I really, what I'm looking for is I want them to be hungry, hungry for it. I want them to be going to Paul saying, what's that you're doing there? Um, what's this paperwork? Can I learn to do this? Can I help you with that? What's happening at the airport? All these sorts of things. If she's waiting for us to go to her, then I don't think she's ready for it. It's been a nerve-wracking morning for Andreas. The long-awaited meeting is about to take place. Eve may be boiling, but Andreas is about to be grilled. I would have thought in, um, uh, what is it, four months you've been here, you'd have had several boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Did she tell you off? No. Did she wash you around? No, oh, that's all right. No. He doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get on with her moods? You know, moody. Am I moody? No. no. <laughs> People are seated. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> Eve isn't the only rep on Menorca enjoying a romance. But you remember you for it. After a shaky start, Debbie's getting on well with Marcos, a clerk in a local car hire company. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. What? And then what are we going to do then? We're going now. Hold. Yeah, we do get on actually. Get on like an old married couple, that's a bit scary. <laughs> Here comes my bread. I'm excited about this. This is the first thing I've got from this job. Uh, is it hard? Is it proper Spanish? No, it's hard one hard. Because I want that one. Oh, look! I want that as well. I want American bread. This is American bread? Yeah, that's American. It looks like a hedgehog. But the relationship almost caused a rift between Debbie and her flatmate Caroline. I suppose I was a bit jealous to begin with because I didn't have anyone. I was off, I was completely on my own, and they were always together. And as soon as I get got in a, of an evening, Marcos would be there. And then one night, me and Debbie had arranged to go out for dinner, and um, Marcos turned up. But she thought he'd come round to stay, and so she got dressed and went out. And I just stormed out the door and I said, right, I'm going to Santa Thomas. And she came after me, she was running down the stairs saying, come back, come back. So I had real domestic. Like, I just thought that he was going to come out with her, so I was just really pathetic. <laughs> Caroline's own love life has been a letdown. Her earlier romance with Mr. Air Tours never really got off the ground. But 
But there's a new guy, he's interested in me. We met him at the Fiesta and he works, he's the head receptionist at one of um, Debbie's hotels and he left a message for me yesterday and he said that he wanted to see me and he's asked me and Debbie to go out with him. So um, that sounds really promising, so I can't wait for that. And he's really good looking, so. Hi, welcome to Menorca. What was the surname? Hill. Hill. An airport day nightmare. Four flights arrive at the same time, and the reps are feeling overwhelmed. I don't know what's going on there then now. So I suppose I was going to four people on the standstill flight over there, but he said he's joining them together with three that's already out there on a the minibus. Oh, I don't know what he's going on about because my four are on there. It's a vanity case. It's been run over out on the runway and it's got her asthmatic stuff in it. Right? Well, the first way of everything, yeah, replace everything. If not, you can buy all that sort of thing in the supermarket, which is further up. Okay, okay. So you can, you can replace everything, so don't worry about it. Which person? Took off your Newcastle flight for. Gossip to Yeah, easy. where have they gone? The. Uh, Blake. Tyre. Yeah. No. Yeah, they're... No, they're here. Right. I'll just give you an invitation, Susie. With Gaynor busy rounding up strays, Wendy tackles head rep Paul about her suitability for promotion. I think that I'm forever having to get on to Gaynor in order to, for her to, to do a job properly, which I don't want to do. She knows that. I want to be able to leave Gaynor alone, let her run with it by herself, because that is what she would have to do if she was in a uh, head rep or a manager's position. And she can't have someone who's al always on the back with it. She's got to do it herself. I've lost a little lady. She's on her own. <laughs> Mrs. Smith, Lanzarote Princess. Yeah. Right, it's up this oh, way. Yeah, I've just got painted off my chest. I can't. Uh, I want to call you. I'm not right. going. That's all right. You stay. You yeah. stay there oh, one minute. Yeah. So there's too many flights. All landed at one. It's yeah. loads of people. Well, we it's quite confusing, now. really. No, it's not a bigger deal. Circus. How's that? Where's that going? Um, Gaynor's destiny is in her, her, her own hands, really. Um, as I was talking with Paul, I said to him, we really have to leave it with her and to see how motivated she is and um, how much she really, really does want to work towards this promotion. Um, we'll keep in co co close contact over the next few weeks, Paul and I, and he will tell me how much she's been... ..asking to learn things. team are in support of Gaynor, so let's, <laughs> perhaps that's a good omen. <laughs> As the boss flies home, Gaynor has two weeks to decide what to put in for. Another year's repping or moving up. And after a day like this, it's no wonder her head's spinning. You've got people saying, where's this, where's that, where's this, where's that, excuse me, are you, do you know where this coach is? No, I'm sorry, you, you, we're, you, is it Unijet? No, we're with such and such company. All right, well, no, you'd have to go and see that. It's all questions all the time. In the back of your mind, you've still got to remember everything. <gasps> and now I need to, oh, yes, oh, I'll go to bed. <laughs> has finally made her date with hotel receptionist Juan Miguel. Debbie has given her one really useful tip. He's a bit of an angler. I remember when I saw your face You caught me smiling I had to look away And I could not resist Like this place? Yeah, it's really nice. We're about to go fishing here. <laughs> Will you catch many fish here? No. <laughs> So how many fish did you catch yesterday? <laughs> how many? 32. 32? 
So is that your best catch ever? No. no. How many Thiago and I, we oh. get, last season we get 60, 62 or 63. 62? What, in one day? <laughs> That's quite impressive, actually. I remember sunsets on fire, nights of endless passion. My girl took me to this really romantic place just past Mahon and there's all little fishing boats in and all the stars are out. No. And I got out of the car and I thought, oh, I look really nice tonight. And he goes to me, oh, look at the sea, Caroline. It's all rolling waves and all white foam. And I went, yeah. Oh, I was going to say something really romantic. Do you know what he turned around and said? <laughs> it's a perfect day for fishing tomorrow. <laughs> Andreas is making the ultimate male sacrifice. Showing Eve's mum around the shops. <laughs> Mrs Ladyman is beginning to realise just how serious Eve is about Andreas. Now they even want to come back to England together for the winter. Mum has her doubts, but Andreas is pretty relaxed. I like her. Yeah, nice woman. <laughs> he's given up a lot, isn't he? I mean, he's sort of, you know, leaving his family and his friends to come to England because he wants to be with Eve. Um, I mean, I am worried about it, you know. But I suppose, you know, Eve's... I think she thinks it will work out, but... Well, we'll have to wait and see. One of your burgers. So how are you? What? Better. Better. You've Caroline and Juan Miguel are getting on yeah. great. Where's Marcos from? Which means Debbie also has to put up with his sporting yeah. interests. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. We'll, we'll go out to dinner for ourselves then, will we? So you two can sit and watch television. Yeah. It's football on tonight. And tomorrow. Oh, oh there's a result. It's every day now. You're going to come out with us? No, no, yeah. not tonight. I can't. Just come to see you. Oh, I just come <laughs> to see me. Uh, no. As long as you sit here and watch the uh -oh. football, you'll be all right. Oh. I'm wish that man who's got five wives. <laughs> man with five wives. How many wives could you cope with one, Miguel? Two. <laughs> Two wives? No. Two wives? <laughs> How many girlfriends could you cope with? <laughs> How many girlfriends could you cope with? I was not answering that. One? Two? One. Right, you can watch the football now. <laughs> Andreas's fate is in the balance. Eve has some thinking to do, and her mum has some advice. I mean, you don't know really how your relationship's going to go anyway, really, do you? I mean, if he's coming to England anyway, it could all fall apart then. Yeah, it could I mean, definitely. because it's going to be very different for, for him and you there than here. Than here. Yeah. I mean, I think he'll see a different you. Yeah. Once you're home, well, with your family and with your friends. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think he'll last six months back home? Don't know. Yeah, I suppose I should think about that as well. We haven't thought about that.
With the boss gone, Gaynor can enjoy a day off with her best friend, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy's a rep for another travel company and she has some firm views on what Gaynor should do next. I think she, Gaynor should go for promotion, for definite. I think now is a time where you'll just be wasted if she continues repping. That's my advice to you, chick. <laughs> Get up there with the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. don't know. Very laid back about it all. Great stuff. All the reps have to start looking to their futures. Have you had to think about this yet? Well, I have, but I keep bypassing. For Caroline and Debbie, really the world's their about. oyster. The thing is, we've only got this to go on, really, haven't we? Madeira, that wasn't a choice. People. I'm worried that I'd get shoved off to somewhere like Madeira. Because <laughs> I've got quite a lot of old guests at the moment. And they will be like, you know, oh, Debbie's really good with old people, so we'll stick her on Madeira for the rest of her life. <laughs> we have to be together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> you and me on a camel safari. You, me, Marcos, and one we go. And we're all turn up. up. <laughs> it's like choosing a three month holiday. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> It'll turn out for the best thing in the end. But Gaynor is still confused. But I just wish I was one of them people that said, I want to be this mm. and do it. And then strive to be it. And do it, yeah, and do it and achieve it, enjoy it and love your job. But I'm not. I just wish I knew what I wanted to do. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Things can only get better. better. Next week in Holiday Reps, Caroline's boyfriend goes walkabout. It's Eve's turn to face the family. And the Reps get their futures decided, or so they think.